Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 25 Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about creating rice fields and what you should keep in mind when doing so. It may be obvious, but rice fields are flooded, and since they're flooded, they need to be on absolutely flat ground. If you create a rice field on ground that is not flat, when the field creation process happens, it will flatten it for you, and you may not like the results. So you need to make sure that before you start creating the field, you're already working with a flat surface. Now I know that this field is already basically flat, but if I wasn't sure, I could come in here into sculpting, I could come to the level mode, and just for the sake of making it a nice square, I'm going to hit B to change the cursor shape, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna basically flatten this whole area by leveling it, and making sure it is all entirely flat. Now, I already know that this is flat, so I'm not going to mess with that. Once you're sure you have an absolutely flat surface to work with, you're going to come to Factories, and you're going to cycle over to Cultivation. And from here, we're going to select Rice Field, $1,500. And we're going to come over to our field, and we're going to look at it, and we're going to think... <laughs> Where do I want the water pump? Okay, the water pump is going to be in the center of the first line that we draw here, the first corner. So do I want the water pump here? Do I want it over here? Do I want it back here? Or do I want it here? And once we know where we want our water pump, that's where we need to start defining our field. So I'm going to define our field by clicking right here in this corner left click and then we're going to define this corner right here left click we're gonna make our way up here left click and we're gonna complete the square by clicking here on our fourth corner and now we can see the line and if we're happy with where the line is we're going to right click to finish creating the field. If we're not satisfied, we can hit B to remove the last corner and redefine the last corner. Notice this line is basically trying to complete the field out at this point. So we can left click again. And there we go. And when we're all said and done and ready to go, we're going to right click. And it is going to create the field for us. And in the act of doing that, it has slightly raised the edge of the field such that it will now hold water. We can come over to our water pump. We can hit R to interact with the water pump and we can select to flood the field. And now that we are flooding the field, well, it will slowly pump water in and we'll slowly see this field change from a dirt state to a flooded state. And then depending on the type of rice that we're going to be putting into this field, well, we need to either plant it in a flooded state or plant it in a non-flooded state. But in both cases of rice, we need to grow the rice in a flooded state. Now, more on rice in a later video. But this was really just giving you a little bit of tips and tricks related to creating your rice fields. One, make sure you're on flat ground. And two, wherever you want this water pump to be, it needs to be on your first line that you draw. So depending on which corner you draw first is where the pump would be. So if I started here and went this way, the pump would be in the middle. If I started here and went this way, the pump would be here. And if I started here and went this way, well, then obviously the pump would be over there. So I wanted the pump to be right here. And that's why I did this corner first. I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments below about the fact that rice has been added to Farming Simulator 25. The ability to do rice fields is a pretty interesting thing. And the fact that we've got two different types of rice two different ways of planting and two different ways of harvesting them is also pretty slick. 
Till next time, happy farming.